I'm Peter Borriero. I'm Product Line Manager at Matrox Imaging. And I'll be walking you through what we're presenting here at the Automate 2015 show. Uh, the first demo I'll be uh, showing you uh, showcases uh, latest enhancements to our Matrox Imaging Library SDK for 3D profiling applications. Uh, there are two uh, major enhancements to the latest release. Uh, one is for uh, uniform calibration. This is where you're able to calibrate uh, multiple laser line and camera pairs uh, so that they scan in, uh, directly in the same reference coordinate system. Uh, the benefit of that is you don't have to incur the additional processing step to merge the scans from each individual system. Um, one of the reasons why you would use uh, multiple uh, laser line camera pairs to do 3D profiling is to um, avoid a problem called occlusion. This is where uh, a camera might not necessarily be able to see the laser line on certain parts of the surface. So in this particular setup here, uh, you're also, the, the other benefit is your increased scan density. So uh, we're able here to scan at five, 5 million points at an accuracy of sub 100 microns. The second thing we're showing here for 3D profiling applications is our new 3D alignment tool. This is where you're able to uh, take a target scan and align it uh, to a model. Uh, so that you can do uh, things like comparative analysis uh, to uh, identify uh, differences or defects between a target scan and a reference model. Uh, in this case here, uh, we're able to do the uh, alignment in less than uh, one second, and this is on a Core i7 CPU. Here we're showing how our uh, vision tools can be used for uh, robot guidance. Uh, we have an application that was deployed to our smart camera, which uh, locates a part. Uh, the application was actually set up by configuring uh, and constructing a flowchart using our uh, design assistant uh, software. Uh, the application uh, finds the part uh, as well as the outline of the part and is able to directly transmit uh, the information to the robot controller uh, so that the robot can uh, do its work. Um, what you see here as well uh, with, in, with our design assistant software you're able to create a, an operator view which is uh, hosted on a web browser and in this case it's showing the, the part that it's finding as well as the uh, coordinates of the part including its rotation. Here we're showing uh, a multi-camera inspection application created using the latest version of our design assistant software that can uh, target uh, any PC as well as our uh, smart cameras. So in this particular setup we have um, three cameras looking at three faces of a, uh, a box, a packaging box. Uh, the three cameras are triggered to acquire simultaneously. They're actually uh, standard Gigi Vision cameras that are connected directly to our Foresight GPM industrial computer that's running the application created using Design Assistant. Uh, the application uh, is actually set up by um, uh, creating and configuring a flowchart in Design Assistant. And um, the same environment is also used to create the operator interface to the application. So there are three inspections, as I mentioned, going on. Uh, one is looking at uh, the front side of the package to determine that it, the correct label is applied and that the correct contents is inserted in the box. Uh, the second camera is reading the barcode to verify that the barcode is present and the top camera is uh, verifying that the lid flap is actually closed. Hi, my name is Michael Chi, Product Manager at Matrox Imaging, and I'm here at the AIA International Vision Standards booth at Automate 2015, where our latest Matrox Radiant EVCLHS frame grabber is being showcased for the Camelink HSM protocol standard. 
Now the Camelink HS M protocol standard is a very high performance digital camera interface that supports data image transfer at up to 2.1 gigabytes per second at up to 15 meters on a copper cable. Our latest Matrox Radiant EVCL HS frame grabber is part of an EV series of cost-effective high performance image acquisition board not only allowing data transfer on a single cable but also providing camera settings, camera controls, along with general purpose IOs. At the back of me here, we have a demo simulating a typical line scan applications using our Radiant EVCLHS frame grabber. Such applications can be found typically in web, print, flat panel display, or semiconductor inspection systems where high speed and high bandwidth is often required. On this demo here, we're doing a live image acquisition with our Radiant EVCLHS frame grabber from the latest Teldyne Dalsa CLHS camera. Over the M protocol, which means a single cable at up to 15 meters running at 2.1 gigabytes per second. This is capturing from a high speed line scan camera, which has 16,000 pixels per line running at up to 100,000 lines per second. As you can see, we're simulating a typical line scan high speed application with a rotating drum. Our Radiant EV CLHS frame grabber also allows for digital IOs to be connected to the board. Such a case here, a rotary encoder is connected to our frame grabber to allow triggering of each line. With the addition of the latest Camelink HS M protocol standard, Matrox Imaging is very proud to say that we're one of the few, if not the only, machine vision software and hardware manufacturer to support all of the industrial camera interfaces. For more information on our product, please visit us on our website.